this was a weird movie locked in was weird they referenced lock in several times because they was in this house all the time and there was the mother the son and his wife okay so the mother somehow got this girl and raised her but the girls were really close friends with her son and her son uh really liked her so when he got old enough he started what well, he actually married the girl his mom adopted and so after they got married the girl wanted to live in this their house but so they didn't even explain why they had to transfer ownership to this girl's name because the mother was some type of an actress and she ended up losing the house to this girl not only because she married the son but they didn't explain everything which was weird okay and the, i noticed the son he was having like seizures he was sick so he was he wouldn't go anywhere and so after a point I think the girl was just staying with him so she would have somewhere to live. She didn't have to leave their house when she got 18. She just married him and just stayed in the house. And the mother was obsessed with the house. But what I don't understand is the mother... Okay, so the mother had this doctor. And the doctor was prescribing this boy drugs that he didn't really, really need. Because he fell in love with the girlfriend. So... They could, he was a doctor. He had a nice car. They could have ran off together. They could have left the scene totally. But for some reason, the doctor also wanted the house. And it was the weirdest thing that the mother, te okay, so the doctor ended up taking the son and out to the water and the boy and drowning him intentionally. And the wife, Instead of leaving or get the police to say, yeah, he did it or whatever, they kept it quiet. So somehow the mother found out that they drowned him, but she still was liking the, um, the doctor. At first she was acting like she was upset. Then they showed some scenes where she was with him trying to kill the, the wife. And I'm like, does she is she trying to just get the girl out of the house so the house could be hers again? Oh, there, I don't know. They didn't really, they did not do a good job explaining this movie to me. And it wasn't a movie. I'm sorry, it was a series. So I had to sit and watch like four to six episodes to understand what was going on, and I was very confused as to why. He allowed himself to be locked in. He was just spoiled. The guy was weird. He he trusted this man so much, and he couldn't swim. It was just kind of weird. And the mother was weird. And you could tell, like, it was an old... It looked like they videoed it in an old abandoned house because the leaves and the trees, everything was old and abandoned looking. And then they only had, like, in the whole hospital, they had three people, the son, the wife, and the mother... And some one other character. So they look like they found an abandoned house to film in. And they found an abandoned hospital to film in. It was so weird. They didn't have any. It's in the top ten. So they're making good money. But they didn't have any extra characters in the movie. Which I found was strange. They put together some weird movie. And it did not go together cohesively. Like they didn't explain things. Like when the mother, uh, they made it seem like she was trying to kill the girl. Then at one point, she was trying to save the girl from the guy killing her. Then at one point, the girl had to run from both of them. I give it a thumbs down because they could have did a better job of explaining what was going on. They didn't explain hardly anything. They didn't have any actors in the movie. They didn't have any, what do you call those? Ex yeah, the extras. They didn't have extras. It was just something they just went to a house, filmed. But watch it if you want to.